Hello and welcome to Soap Dish. She is Soapy Sal. I am oh. Soapy Al. Hello, Soapy Sal. Hello, Soapy Al. So, <laughs> last time we uh, had a really good chat about soaps, we were speculating, weren't we, about who killed Mr. Beale? And now, of course, we know it was Bobby. Who has a Bobby. line in expensive name badges now, obviously. Yes. <laughs> it's no expense spared on this show. <laughs> so, um, were you satisfied with that, you know? No. No? Fine. No? Why? No. Well, they killed someone we didn't really care about, and the murder was someone we didn't really care about. So I felt very dissatisfied. I wanted more. I quite liked it because what I liked was in EastEnders, nothing feels bookended at the moment. And what I mean by that is you can't see the start and the finish of a storyline. They're very skilled in just letting the storylines flow one into the other. And I think, had it been anyone else, the story would have ended. They'd have been carting off to the nick and it would have been sort of chapter closed and that'll be it. I think what's really good about them having Bobby is that the story then continues. It doesn't just go like chop. I think he's gonna be a psychopath. Do you think? I think it's gonna be a, we need to talk about Kevin moment, yeah. Oh. So I see that but I like how that's kind of given the story more legs because they're always gonna carry that round with true, them. It's true, but they've all gone at the moment. They, they should be carrying on and they just all disappeared. And it's but it will pop up at some point yeah. later on. Even it could be like five years down the line, it could pop up. I, it I, I liked you it. You liked it, well I Although didn't that like said, it. I was a bit miffed that it wasn't Jane because um, my husband had put 50 quid on her at six to one and I really need a new radiator for the hall. She did so a bit well. scared though. She, she did. So I was she was only moving her eyes. eyes. Did you notice yeah. she was like this? Yeah. Didn't like the wedding dress, oh, I have no. to say. No. Oh, anyway, cool. let's move on. Da -da 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 uh, Emma Dale. Big oh. talking point at the moment is um, Lachlan. You've got a hat like Lachlan, haven't you? <laughs> I have got a hat like Lachlan. Yeah. Yeah, don't tell anybody. Um, the assault. Um, a lot of people saying, was that appropriate? for that time slot. What do you think on that? I think it was because all it was much of it was left to the imagination. I think if you're a young person watching it by mistake or before you go to bed, you're not gonna get it. True, true. I was a little bit kind of, oh, oh. You know, because you're not used to seeing that. No, but it, it's supposed to be shocking. That's the whole point. You know, they, they can't really gloss over it. I think they did it really well, actually. It is an interesting story, I have to say, because You've got all this stuff about the internet and him watching pornography and how that affects young minds and um, I just wish you'd take that hat off. <laughs> well, I just That's think the important thing. Hair is in. <laughs> yes, isn't it? It's a bit creepy, isn't it? Is it? A bit creepy, yeah. yeah. Corey, um, big storyline at the moment is Faye's pregnancy. Faye. I think everyone was surprised when that storyline was revealed because they'd only had Sarah Lou a few years ago doing that similar thing, giving birth at 13. Is that a lazy storyline or? Well, Faye's a very like different it? girl to Sarah Lou. Faye is very ordinary, isn't she? You wouldn't mm. spot her in a crowd. But Sarah Lou is quite, you know, feisty and wild and, and yeah, stunning. Yeah. Faye is like the schoolgirl I was like, you know, just ordinary. And I quite like that about her. She's an ordinary girl. She's got problems, and she's just got this terrible, terrible problem to deal with on her own. I'm quite enjoying her. I'm to looking say. forward to the birth. Oh yeah. Just because, you know, can she get away with it? You know, well, obviously, obviously not. not. <laughs> no, but um, she's been good, hasn't she? She's um, been really young good. Young Danny Leach. Really good. Contender for um, best young performer, presumably, no, at the Shape Awards. She's really come on, hasn't she? The pair of them, I quite like Faye and Craig together. Oh, they're yeah, a little... lovely Craig and Daryl the Rat. I love him. Yeah, love like they could have a little spin-off, couldn't they? The that, Rat. Yeah, <laughs> the Rat. Yeah, bless. Anyway, um, it's Mother's Day on it Sunday, is. isn't it? Yeah, it's the one day in the year when blokes sort of empty the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I might get a line and a cup of tea. So I thought we'd discuss those women out there in Soapland who really need an award. But before we do that, let's go on to the Bobbins ones. Who really needs kind of a few lessons in parenthood? Oh, what do you think? Cat Moon at the moment. She's all over the show. That poor, do you know? poor Tommy. It's like, you have him. You have him. Oh, just take Tommy with you and she's off. I have noticed the boobs are really out at the moment, aren't they? Well, as, as They're I getting lower and lower, aren't well, they? The more depressed she gets, the more the boobage is, is on yeah, show. Yeah. And, and she's in it. And the more makeup she put. I mean, if she spent oh. all the time putting makeup on with Tommy instead, They'd probably have quite a nice yeah. bomb. She is looking more and more like a lady of the night. <laughs> she I mean, can you imagine is. if you were her kid and that rocked up at the school gates? She'd be ashamed, wouldn't you? <laughs> She'd be like, you're not my mother. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. 
But those twins, where are they? Are they locked in an ante room somewhere? I think they are. I think she's just said, I'm, hey, I'm going down pad. And uh, she's left them in a room with like sandwich and a penguin. They probably got vitamin D deficiency. <laughs> probably, by now. yes, yes. <laughs> My worst mum in Soapland is Theresa McQueen. Oh. She's kind of similar. She sort of goes out on the ras and you don't know where the kids are. Again, plonked in some room with a sandwich and a penguin. Um, but she's called the kids Kathleen Angel. And Myra Pocahontas. Myra Pocahontas. Can you imagine? She should be reported to social services for that mere fact alone. So shame on her. But um, forget the rubbish ones. Who needs an award? Who's the best mum in Well, do you know what? Anna Windus for me. I know Good her choice. family's falling Good apart choice. and it's all going wrong, but she's always got her pinny on her, a tea towel over she's her She's Sharon Osborne in a cardigan, oh, she's, don't you think? She's, do you know, that woman works hard. I bet she's got really callous fingers. Yeah. But she never does anything for herself. She's either working no. in the cafe, she's at home trying to keep everyone together, and no one does anything for her. She needs a spa day. She does. She needs, she needs to swim in Lake Me, doesn't yes. she? She needs to yeah. be a bit pampered. Yeah, I, I bet she does a good shepherd's pie. Oh, yeah. She's one of them women, isn't she? I bet she does a good shepherd's pie. My favourite mum is Lisa Dingle. Oh. Ooh, Lisa Dingle, she's lovely, isn't she? I think she's got lovely. I think the thing is with Lisa Dingle, it's the big bosoms. Because, like, you can imagine, when she gives you a cuddle, she's like... You wouldn't be able to breathe. Oh, it would be lovely, wouldn't it? be like, just lovely big pillows. <laughs> and it just, I had a dentist like that once. I don't and think we should go here. No, but when she just kind of lean over and she had these massive bosoms and you could just sort of, just have a little bit of a rest. We were very comfy. Each of them. But, uh, yes. <laughs> but Lisa Dingle, she's not got much money, but she's got a hell of a lot of love. She has. Hasn't she? So anyway, got some flowers. What? Who's getting them, Lisa or Anna? Well, they can <laughs> share, have to share them. How many budget? How many see at seven? <laughs> So um, they can have three each, three and we'll each. keep the other for right. our deaths. Anyway, Down and on that bombshell, <laughs> uh, happy Mother's Day, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time. Try. Bye.